Hey guys, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Let's take down Queen Zeal once and for all and save the world! Or something. Um, Elixir on Magus, because he has no MP. Ayla, triple kick on the head, because it must die. We sh Hopefully, she should be dead very, very soon. I took down quite a bit of her HP in the last episode. So, hopefully we should be able to take her down in this episode. And yeah, as I mentioned before, just as a quick refresh, um, if you're using my same party, um, make sure you have Magnus on standby for healing, and Ayla have her go triple kick on the head, Robo go Uzi punch only at full HP, or use heal beam if you need to. Um, let's see, Ayla triple kick on the head, um, uh, Magnus will go for a Lapis, or okay, not a Lapis, um, full taunt on Robo, because he's not at full HP. What is it? It doesn't matter, because for Robo's Crisis Arm, if it's third digit of HP is a 9, he'll do a crap ton of damage. So, that's actually fine. So, one more Uzi Punch, and this may do it, actually. Yeah, I already charmed her of everything, and yes! Down goes Queen Zeal, and the world is saved! Right? Or is it? Haha! We have finally killed you! Oh, crap, and she's calling Lavos now. Oh, goody. Now, yeah, yeah, if you're playing along, like how I'm doing, and you're doing all the side quests, and then the Black Dome at last to fight Lavos, this whole scene will happen. But right after you resurrect Chrono and do all that stuff there, if you go right to the bucket to fight Lavos in 1999 AD, or end of time to 1999 AD, you'll just, um, you'll go right to Lavos. But doing it this way, it's, you did a more, you did like a, a fuller sense of completion for the game, and you did the, did the overall best ending at the end of the game if you do it this way. And okay, so wait, we went all we went through all that trouble to kill her, and she's still alive, and she'll still obtain Im immortality, and still summon Lavos. That that sucks a lot. Apparently, Lavos has been chilling down here the entire time, and he's coming up to say hi. And by hi, pretty much means he's going to kill us. Well, are you guys ready for this? Yeah, this begins the final trek of the game. Final battle against Lavos, once and for all. Do we have what it takes to destroy him? We'll find out today! My voice crashed right there, I don't really care. Alright then, do we have a chance to heal or anything? Lavos enters attack mode! Now the thing with Lavos is, he'll impersonate many of the, bo of the game's bosses throughout the battle. The first first boss is Dragon Tank. Um, same thing, he has three parts there. On the middle part is the head. Um, the left and right parts are the tank and the grinder, I believe the other two parts were. Um, yeah, the, what, yeah, what Lavos would do, he'll imitate attack patterns of many bosses throughout the game. Not all of them, but a good portion of them. But yeah, you definitely want to make sure you are completely and utterly fully healed before going into this. And also, um, you, after you beat a form of Lavos, you can switch out party members in and out, because you'll have a break in between battles. But for right now, I want to stick with this party, because it should work just fine. Um, Equipment-wise, ultimate equipment, gold stud on Magus. Um, Ayla will not need the charm top anymore, so don't worry about that. Um, what will what will be best to give her? Um, let's see. I th uh, what should I give her? Um, power seal. Yeah, power seal on Ayla. That's right. I like that. Um, okay. I, also, yeah, I got the prism helm and a couple more zodiac capes or something or other. I do want to equip those. Um, let's see, Luca keeps a tavern suit, she already has a Zodiac cape. Well, Prism Dress is actually better, actually much better. So I will give the Prism Dress to her. Actually, no, might screw that, no. I want to give this to Ayla, because I'll be using her a lot more often. She has a Zodiac cape, but Prism Dress is much, much better. And yeah, it lowers her magic defense by 10, but it cuts magic attack by a third. So essentially, you have one third magic defense right there. So she's good there. Um, Robo, keep him with the haste helm. Magus, uh, let's keep, uh, let's give Ayla the prism helm too. May as well, just get her debt out beyond belief. Um, yeah, mostly I'll be using, I'll probably use Frog a little bit, but mostly I'll be using Robo, Ayla, Chrono, and Magus for the most part. Um, let's see, Rainbow, Prism Helm, Nova Armor, anyone have any Moon Armor by any chance? I don't think so. No, no one does. Okay. But, um, yeah, Prism's bets on Chrono for sure. Um, if you have another gold stud, maybe give him, give him to that too. I'll give that to him as well. But, um, 
Mm, excuse me. Other than that, I think we're good to go. I'm going to start out with Magnus, Robo, and Ayla for right now because that party is awesome. So, uh, without further ado, let's fight Lavos! Yeah, this first form is really, really easy. To start out with Magnus, Dark Matter, you should win like, immediately. Yeah, these first few battles, well, actually, the first, like, probably five or six are extremely easy. You'll be able to win with just using Dark Matter. Or if you're using Chrono, just go Luminaire. That's really the, be the best way to go. Like, man, uh, yeah, uh, Luminaire, Flare, Dark Matter, Shock, what have you. And next up is the Guardian. Again, same as before, on the two bits left and right, and the main part in the middle. Um, doesn't really matter, because we'll want to go Dark Matter, and we win. So, yeah, these first fights are an absolute cakewalk, so, yay. And, yeah, after a while, I will heal my MP. I probably won't need to heal HP at all. So, break down! Everybody dance! No! Not really. <laughs> not happening. Okay, who's up next? Hecron! This might take a little bit longer just because he has more HP. So, I actually might take a shock and a dark matter, believe it or not. But, yeah, uh, physical attacks, again, they don't do anything, so Ayla will be on standby. Robo will deal with shock, and we should win. Yeah, it actually took two hits to kill all those. Holy crap. That's that's incredible. It's not one hit. That's disappointing. It really is. But yeah, that should yeah, that's <laughs> extremely easy. Alright then, who is up next? I wanna say um Okay, Zombor, he's up next. Um it just before, um the the main shell in the back is the top half, the one in front is the bottom half, so you wanna treat it the same way as before. Or just go Dark Matter in shot. I think um Actually, Dark Matter might heal one of the, one of the halves, I forget, but um, Luminaire would not, I don't think, so you're fine to use that. BAC, yeah, it healed the uh, bottom half. So yeah, um, let's go into Litzer and Magnus real quick. Those shots should be able to take care of the bottom half, so it shouldn't be a problem. And then we're good to go there. Um, yeah, should kill it easily. Yeah, this is an absolute joke so far. Yeah, a lot of those are just, like... Yeah, he's just like, I don't know. I thought it'd be a little, bit, a little harder than this. But I really do like how they went about the whole final boss fight thing with this. I mean, making Lavos impersonate many of the bosses throughout the game is a nice, like, refresher for all of them. I, I think it's a really cool concept, too. Like, from what I've seen, not a lot of games really do that. Not, not that I've seen, anyway. Though, if there, are any, if there are any more out there, let me know. I think it's a really cool concept and everything, so I'd, I'd love to try that out in other, in other games. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, who's up next? Oh yeah, Mass Immune. Uh, this one might take a little bit longer. Uh, triple kick, Dark Matter, Shock, and we're like good to go. This will probably like all three of these attacks will probably kill him pretty easily. So, and yay for double spinning triangles. And yeah, again with the uh, YouTube's new time limits. Um, I'll be able to record much longer now, as I mentioned back in Final Fantasy IV. Um, I guess that'll, that'll be from today. But, um, yeah, hopefully I will be able to finish all these boss fights before the end of the video. Okay, now for, um, uh, what's that? Uh, for Nisbel. Um, I do want to bring in Chrono, actually. Um, I'll take out, uh, I'll take it out Ayla for Chrono for right now. And yeah, I'll heal him up real quick, too, because as you remember before, with Nisbel, Lightning is very effective against him. Even though, Mag yeah, Magnus is there to help out, actually, so... Actually, we're good. Uh, let me see, Mid-Ether... Okay, actually, no, let's go a Tonic and an Ether. That's all I need to do right there. Um, do I have any tabs by any chance? I don't remember. Um, no, I don't. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, now let's go fight, um, uh, Nisbel, yes. Yeah, first things first, uh, Chrono, let's just go Lightning real quick. Um, uh, actually... He actually attacked? Holy shit. That's amazing. Yeah, lightning real quick to lower his defense. And then dark matter, and then we'll do Uzi Punch. Uzi Punch will probably kill him in one hit. Well, I guess it'd be three. It'll take one Uzi Punch to kill him, essentially. So, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is really, 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 really easy so far. Oh, it got Super Volt. <laughs> I forgot about that. Chrono hasn't been in the party for so long that there's dual tests that I haven't learned with some people yet. But yeah, Super Volt's a combination of um, Lightning 2 and Shock. I don't use it that much, though. I'm, I would think it is pretty powerful. 
But anyway, Magnus is up next. So this one, this is when things started a little more complicated. Um, I want to take out who has the widest diversity. Magnus has all three spells, but yeah, I do want to put in Fraud actually. I'll leave Robo in though, because you have uh, with Fraud having the mass immune, he'll be extremely helpful here. Uh, let's go mid tonic and an Ether. Uh, yeah, Fraud's already good to go. Mass immune to safe helm, Nova armor, hero metal. Yeah, he's good to go. So yeah, what we want to do against Magus, oh yeah, Magus, air, quote unquote, um, we'll have Fraud attack first. And, and see, well, the thing is with this form, whatever spell he, he's, he's, uh, he uses against you, you'll want to use the exact same spell against him, as opposed to when we first fought Magus, when uh, whatever spell he used, he cast the opposite of it. So yeah, we want to go Mass Immune with Fraud over and over again, and then Barrier Chains, he's using Lightning, so we can go... Uh, Lightning 2 with Magus, not Fire 2, uh, Lightning 2 with Magus, and Shock, actually. So, this actually should be pretty easy. Especially helps having Magus along, as he has all the elemental spells. Well, level 2 elemental spells. And, no, I just got lucky, he changed the Lightning again, I was a little nervous that he would change something different. But yeah, this should deal quite a bit of damage here. And then he'll probably change again. But it works out actually best with this part because Magnus has all three elements and shadow spells too. Um, oh, he's casting a spell. Now remember, yeah, when he does that, you're free to go all out. So we'll go Dark Matter, um, just go Leap Slash, and Robo's not quite fully healed. I mean, he has eight as his third digit, so he'll be fine there. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, when he casts a spell, just go all out, and then you're good to go. A few more attacks at the word should take him down. Actually, I may have brought Joe with physical attack next time because, um, the mass immune critical hit. So, haha, we got Magnus already. Up next is. Ooh, Azado and the Black Tyranno. Goody. Let's see, I want to change things up a little bit here. Uh, let's go ahead and take out Fraud and put in. Do I want to use. Let's go Ayla. I like Ayla. She's awesome. Let's see, I want to heal up again real quick, too. I'd like to be able to finish this form before the video is over. Because I wanted to go for about 13 minutes or so, which is about, like, now, almost. Uh, let's see, a full other, full other. I, I have a bunch of these, so I'm just going to go all out with them. So, there you go. Okay. Now, so, yeah, we want to take out Azado first. That's the thing on the left. So, we'll just go um, Shaw to hit both targets and Dark Matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Azado, Heart, uh, only has a few thousand HP, so Shaw and Dark Matter will be more than enough to take care of them. And um, pretty much, we'll just um, Ayla will be on standby until his auto's gone. And then just as before, the Blast Titan Renner will lower his defense, so then we're free to attack. Then it's all afraid. That's just that's his normal attack when he dies. So yay. And just wait for it until he opens up and drops his defense. Come on, there we go. Okay, now we're going to do a triple kick, dark matter, and we'll go Uzi Punch. His Robo is oh crap. He only has crap. Uzi Punch is gonna suck now. Well, I think at, um, yeah, after Robo's Uzi Punch, I think I'll, I'll pause it, and then I'll be on for today's episode. Um, yeah, 761, that sucked. So anyway, can we defeat Lavas once and for all and finally save our world and all the other time periods? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been Aramu, signing off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.